Today's date is January 17th, 2019. We're here with Jamie. This is a very unusual story for me for our posts. I met Jamie well over 20 years ago in Alaska, where I was living and practicing. Jamie and his wife brought their son to me. How old was your son at the time? 18 months, two years right now. And th this is all done by memory, but I certainly remember the medical case because it was unique. Um, the child had IPT, or ITP, idiopathic yeah. thrombocytopenic purpura, which means your platelet count is extraordinarily low and you're at risk of bleeding to death. The doctors wanted to take his spleen out at just shy of two years, and they brought him to me desperate for an alternative. And I did muscle testing using the mother as a surrogate and found that he could have been reacting to the diphtheria portion of the DPT vaccine. Is that correct? That's my recollection. And I provided him with a homeopathic remedy to it. And you tell the story. We noticed some severe bruising on my son. Um, he was... Uh, not yet walking or standing, which actually worked in our favor. Uh, the bruising, just from picking him up, uh, caused severe bruising, so we were very concerned. The um, pediatrician we're using, a very conventional guy, uh, actually stereotypical. Uh, several things happened, I'll try to be brief. Uh, one is, you know, he said it was idiopathic, had no idea what caused it. Uh, I questioned the vaccine, and he got very defensive. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely no way it could have happened said it must have been a, uh, a change in food or some other uh, environmental thing, a new pet or new cleaning supply or, or something. Uh, I responded, he was uh, exclusively breastfed. There, nothing new had entered our home. And the only thing I see was the vaccine was given a few days to a week at the most prior to us seeing his symptoms. Uh, after that, they, they tested his blood and came back with the ITP diagnosis. Um, the first blood test revealed something to count, something around 40,000 um, per deciliter. Platelets. Of, uh, platelets per deciliter, thank you. Uh, I'm a layman. <laughs> um, the, uh, we had several subsequent blood tests done, and every time the platelet count went low, lower, lower, lower. At approximately 10,000 uh, platelet count, we were talking about removing the spleen. Um, we were very resistant to that. And uh, Dr. Rowan had been in the news quite often. Uh, I was looking for something else. Uh, my wife took him to Dr. Rowan. Um, and again, we're getting blood tests done about every two days. And we're getting the results fairly quickly because they were prepping him for surgery. Uh, after one treatment, um, about a day or two later, we had blood drawn again. The results came back. And for the first time, now remember, we started at somewhere around 40,000. We're now below 10. And they wanted him in there for surgery to remove his spleen. The... Um, we got a slight increase, went up to maybe 12,000. Uh, another treatment, another blood test, went up again, and this pattern repeated. At no time did we tell the uh, original pediatrician what we were doing. Um, he is taking some kind of credit. He's gleefully saying, well, I do this to turn around, we'll get it fixed, and that type of thing. Um, we certainly credit Dr. Rowan because we had a long history, maybe six blood tests, and uh, the platelet count went down, 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 and never went anywhere but down uh, until the first treatment. Uh, several treatments were filed. Each time we got a, a actually bigger improvement in the platelet count. Um, I stopped getting the blood work done. We hit about 50,000, still low, but it had been climbing regularly. Uh, my wife continued treatments with Dr. Rowan. Um, to wrap it up, that same kid still has a spleen. He's 26 years old. He was All-State football wrestling. Um, he is a, uh, he's not a huge guy, but he's very muscular and strong and a tremendous athlete. Um, Wow. I, I want to thank you for telling the story. I may post this on YouTube. You certainly may. Uh, it was very inspirational. It changed my life. Um, I never went back to that pediatrician. None of my children have ever had another vaccine. I've got some that were born um, after that one, and they've never been to a doctor. They're extremely healthy. Um, and, you know, we, I credit Dr. Rowan with saving my son's spleen and basically getting me to look a little bit... Uh, uh, outside the box, shall we say. Uh, at the time, I had good insurance and uh, a good job, and I thought I was doing the right thing by running my kids off to these pediatricians for vaccinations and well baby checks. Um, 
but that was 26 years ago, many kids later, and um, never repeated that again. Thank you. I may post this on YouTube. Yes, sir, you may. And I want the viewer to know that because of that, this is well over 20 years, maybe 25 or 30. Yeah, it's 25 uh, 24, years. 24 years ago. 24 yeah, the years 26 ago. Now. You, you're coming to me now after I haven't seen you in all these years because uh, of that encounter in Alaska. That, that is correct. Thank I, you. I, I came in uh, from Tennessee, 2,500 miles away. Okay, thank you.